I finally decided to upgrade to a uh, decent soldering iron, and I bought one of these uh, Heiko FX888D soldering stations. Um, you have to be careful when you buy these things, because there are a lot of Chinese knockoffs, so you have to make sure that you buy from a distributor and get one of the original ones, but... Um, this is a uh, Japanese design product. It's an older one. It's been around for like 10 years and um, they're made in Malaysia. They're not made in China. Um, there are a lot of knockoffs and stuff like that that people are using that are supposed to be better technology. But I decided to stick with the, um, you know, the real thing in uh, all cast aluminum. Even though it looks like a toy in plastic, it's, you know, cast aluminum and stuff. So I'm real happy with it. And then I decided to order a, uh, a soldering mat that's supposed to be good for like 900 degrees or something like that. And um, with grounding and everything else to be static safe. And this thing actually came with some uh, screwdrivers that probably won't last long. They look pretty cheap and stuff, but I'll get to try them. And, you know, they were just uh, thrown in extra. So um, hopefully I won't burn any more spots in my new bench top uh you know having a mat to work on now um and getting a new soldering iron hopefully i won't screw up anything else that's uh got lead free solder on it because my old soldering iron wouldn't get hot enough but i also got a, a solder a cheap solder sucker and some wicks too to go with that to to complete it and um one of these knockoff uh helping hand things it's a uh, this is like a chinese knockoff but you know it'll get the job done and it didn't cost a whole heck of a lot and i i have a serious problem trying to hold things in line and stuff you know when soldering and i get into a lot of projects lately with electronics so decided to upgrade to this too and it was supposed to be a yellow to match the uh, mat i thought but it's quite a different color of orange there so there's what it looks like together. It's got four adjustable clips and, um, you know, allows you to hold parts while you're soldering them. Then I had an old Harbor Freight, uh, like a roll-around cart that I had bought years ago to use for all my electronics components. And I never really did anything with it. It was laying out in my uh, pole barn with a bunch of junk in it. So I cleaned that out, brought it in, measured it up, and I decided to make a little table that goes off the side of it so I would have a um, dedicated soldering area where I could keep everything. So over to the CNC router, I quick drew it up, and uh, this thing is spoiling me. It's just fun to, to watch things being made. I mean, I could have made it on my table saw and the band saw to cut the notches out and you know sanded the corners round and stuff like that but this just is uh you know so easy anymore that i'm just gonna take the shortcut like this whenever i can and there you can see it's just uh you know cutting out the the part and in about two minutes i've you know i've got the the part all finished and ready to go and um you know it's in pretty good shape too now this time I tried putting cardboard under it so I could just cut through and uh, cut both sides and get a clean finish. And that actually worked really nice. So uh, there's the part ready to go and went to try it on the cart but I screwed up. I didn't uh, notch it right so I had to take it over to band so I take a couple notches out of it. And there you can see I flipped the handle on that cart and I got it so this fits in there perfectly. And it's really strong and... Um, Actually, it holds the uh, mat that I bought perfectly, and it's going to be a good good work area. So once I made sure everything fit together there, time to just go back and round off the corners and sand it a little bit and put a couple coats of my uh, orange paint I have left over on it. So there it is. I, I made a spacer for the cabinet there. You can see put some little stickers on it. And it slides right in there, locks in place, and, uh, you know, gives me a nice place to work. Now, I had, I had, like I said, I had bought this cabinet probably about 15 years ago. It was one of those $89 coupon specials at Harbor Freight. And I finally took the time to, to get, you know, most of my electronics and stuff together and uh, put them all in the top there where I could have easy access to them. And then I've got the drawers with like, um, you know, it's got like tapes and tips in it, stuff like that. And this one's got my, all my little electronic tools and precision screwdrivers and screw starters and stuff. 
And then I put all my cable crimpers and strippers and tie wrap tools and, you know, stuff like that in the next drawer down. So it's really nice to have it all together. And in the bottom drawer, I got a big old Weller soldering iron. I got some solder and my old iron there just in case I, I need them for something. But these things just took like between 5 and 10 minutes to warm up. And uh, they really don't get hot enough for the lead-free solder that you run into on a lot of parts these days. So, um, you know, there it is. I've got everything together now in one spot. Um, just the right height for working on the stool so I can just, you know, set it up and sit there and... Um, Really uh, something I wanted to do years ago but never got around to it. It's kind of nice to have time to catch up on stuff like this. So this is just a you know workspace that I can roll anywhere in my shop now. And uh, actually you know, working hands here, that's going to be nice because I've been struggling so much with trying to hold parts together and solder them. And you know even putting parts in your mouth to hold them in place and stuff. And good thing about it is I can just pick this off and go anywhere with it now. If I need it out in the other shop or upstairs or you know out in the garage, I can just uh, pick it up, take the whole thing with me, have everything in one spot. And then I can just uh, set it on top of the cart when I'm not using it. Now, the one of the reasons I got this soldering iron station for is uh, my other soldering irons just took forever to heat up. And they really didn't get hot enough for the lead-free solder. But this one, you see, I just uh, switched it on. And it's set at 750 degrees Fahrenheit from the factory. I, I still have to do some reading about uh, setting the temperatures and presets and all that stuff. But you can see that it takes less than a minute to come up to full soldering temperature, which is really nice. And um, like I said, there's a lot of newer technology and a lot of um, like cheap Chinese clones and knockoffs and stuff that people are buying. But I really wanted to go with the real thing and, uh, you know, even though it's a little bit older technology and it, it still is, um, you know, good and still works really good. So that's, uh, you know, that's going to be really handy with all the projects I get into. And years ago, um, 2002 it was, I think, I bought my first Heiko or Hako um, solder and iron. And uh, I, I did order some tips with this one too. You can see I got some uh, all different sizes to allow me to swap over and they're real easy to switch out. Um, I might do a video on this soldering station in the future once I learn how to use it. But here's a battery operator one I bought back in 2002 when I bought a motor home. And I wanted to have this for, um, you know, using if you ran into problems, which you do with them. And uh, it's been really a great, great little unit that's worked good and let batteries last long. And this has a newer technology in it that uses a um, ceramic cartridge that's part of the tip and much more expensive. But anyhow, I you know, I've got room on the bottom there. I've got about five more containers full of terminals and stuff to bring in and stack up there and it, it's all on wheels and rolls around good and um easy to just, you know, kinda of grab and go with the um the soldering station itself if I need it somewhere else and I could just put it on top of the cart and roll it in the corner, keep it out of the way for, you know, use down here. But I just thought I'd share this. Um, you know, you know I've been getting a, everything organized lately and spending time doing it so um it's just a an idea that i came up with that's really gonna i think help make projects easier in the future for me so i just thought i'd sneak this video in in case anybody else is you know looking for maybe some ideas about getting organized with soldering thanks for watching please subscribe